chaps welcome to John Robson guitar tuition once again as always I do hope you're well today's video is another in the series about how to use your PC for making music so far we've looked at uh, how to connect your guitar to your PC using an amp modeler or audio interface and then last time we looked at using a piece of software called chord pulse in order to generate your own jam tracks which you can then record using another piece of software called audacity today though we're going to take another step towards creating something a little bit more realistic sounding and you're going to need some more software for that but the good news is it's free so no need to get the wallet out um, but before we get to the software there's a couple of uh, terms that i suppose i'd better explain um, just to make sure that we're all uh, singing from the same hymn sheet as it were um, first of all DAW I've mentioned this before it stands for digital audio workstation basically a piece of recording software uh, the other one that you're going to hear me using uh, from time to time is a term VST which stands for virtual studio technology and it's basically an industry standard uh, for software generated instruments you know that you can use in conjunction with your DAW so you're going to be learning how to use VSTs with your DAW there you're already learning the lingo um, a VST is basically a software instrument and the first software instrument we really need to look at is the drums uh, so today it's going to be all about getting you up and running with your first DAW and uh, using your first VST to create some convincing drum parts next time we'll look at how to record bass and guitar and stuff over the top of that to end up with a finished mp3 that you can be proud of so without further ado let's have a look at the software that you need and how to use it okay the first thing i need you to do uh, because it's going to come in handy later is you need to open a notepad window here uh, you'll find that in all programs accessories just a basic little text editor I'm sure you know what notepad is so once you've got that open what we need to do next is go to uh, the start menu and go to computer and right click on that and go properties okay basically what we need to find out is what kind of operating system we've got whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit and you can see that this machine here has a 64-bit operating system that is going to determine what kind of software we download so now we know that that's 64-bit we'll close that down and basically now we go to uh, the Reaper website uh, Reaper is a DAW which is free to evaluate for 60 days and then once you've um, evaluated it you will get in fact while you're still evaluating it during that 60 day trial you will get a little nag screen asking you to purchase a license uh, but even after it, um, that 60 day evaluation times out you still have fully functional software you just have to kind of um, click the still evaluating button although I do suggest that um, you support the uh, software developers and buy the license anyway here you can see I'm assuming you're running Windows you can choose whether to download the 32-bit or 64-bit version of the software uh, choose the one that's appropriate to you once you've done that basically go to the folder where you've downloaded it to I've got a folder called downloaded software and uh, go to the Reaper installer double click on that let it do its thing um, just hit OK or I agree when any of the prompts come up and you will soon have Reaper installed on your machine next thing we need some drums okay now this is the drum plugin I'm going to recommend as you can see in big bold letters there it is free it's called MT Power Drum Kit 2 and once again scroll down and you can decide whether you need the 64-bit version of it or the 32-bit uh, version of it and then once you've got that go again to our downloaded software folder this is the file that you will get MTPDK 
2.0 etc etc you can see what it is it's a zip file basically so double click on that and you will find a folder and go into that folder and you will find a number of items but it's these two that we're interested in uh, MT power drum kit DLL MT power drum kit content now let's just park that over there for the moment next thing we do is go into computer and go to local disk and then you need to go to program files and somewhere in this folder what you need to do is right click and create a new folder okay and you need to name that folder vst plugins okay now i don't need that folder because i've already done this but so let's get rid of that uh, but you can see that basically i've already uh, created the folder called vst plugins now go into there and you can see i've already done this step basically you take the two files which uh, are in that uh, MT power drum kit download that we're interested in and drag them and drop them into that VST plugins uh, folder now then this is the bit that you're going to need notepad for click into the address bar there okay and you see it brings up the uh, the, the, the path to that folder on, on the computer just right click on that and go copy and go into the uh, notepad window that you've got open and click on there and go paste that basically is information that we're going to need very shortly once once we launch Reaper so I'll close all of these down now and let's do exactly that let's launch Reaper and it takes a moment or two to boot up as it's loading all of the uh, stuff that's in this project that I've got going okay yeah I've got a little kind of as you can see here it's called country ballad thing a little project that I've got underway let's kick off a new project um, just to uh, do this from scratch okay first thing we need to do is uh, insert the drum kit so oh before we do that yes we need to set Reaper up don't we so go to options preferences and uh, where are we yes we need to go up to audio device these two menus here are the ones that we're interested in okay where it says input device and output device just make sure that these correspond to whatever your audio interface is as you can see uh, mine is set to uh, my vox tone lab st microphone and headphones I don't know why it always seems to assume that an input is a microphone and an output is headphones but you can see there's various options there's my little USB mic that I'm uh, speaking into now um, just hit the ones that correspond to your audio interface and OK that oh yes but before we do that we've got one more job to do go to plugins VST and this little box here is the one that we're interested in okay um, basically you need to tell Reaper to look in that um, folder that you created called VST plugins for VST plugins for the software instruments and what you do is uh, just it's what it says here VST plugin paths can be multiple paths separated by semicolons so um, if I take that out there it is uh, what I need to do now is I need to put in the um, the path to that folder that we uh, created earlier so that's probably something like what you'll see so put the semicolon in there it is and then go to your notepad file there and select all of that right click copy back into Reaper and click into that box there after the semicolon and then just either paste or control V on the keyboard to paste that into there apply and OK and now we have uh, the drum kit installed properly so let's import it into Reaper this pane here just right click anywhere here and uh, insert virtual instrument on new track and where are we going to well uh, there it is there actually VST uh, power drum kit there it is just click on that and go okay 
and it takes a moment or two so just talk amongst yourselves and when this little box comes up just hit no okay and there is our drum kit once again they're asking for a donation which I suggest you do at some point uh, but for now just hit skip okay now first thing we need to do is go to grooves and we'll just put a simple little drum groove together go to uh, where it says style over here and first thing we need is an intro so click on that folder and let's just go with intro number one and drag and drop that into the composer window down there next up go to any one of these different types of um, groove styles all sorts of different styles of drum loops and stuff in here that you've got I'm just going to go with 8th closed hi-hat and we'll just go groove number 1 and put that in now you can see here that I can set that groove before I drag and drop it into that window that is I can set that groove to any length I want anywhere from 1 bar up to 8 bars it's a good idea to go with 3 bars because most drum grooves tend to um, consist of three bars of the basic beat and then one bar of a fill after that so let's put in a fill on the end of that you can see it automatically brings up a bunch of fills associated with that particular uh, groove that we've put in so let's just go with the first one on the list here and then we have our um, drum loop we can listen to what that sounds like uh, just by hitting this play button here And as you can hear, that will just loop round until I hit the uh, same button again that made it play. Um, bear in mind that you're hearing these drums uh, coming out of the speaker on my system and going back down the microphone I'm, I'm speaking into. So you're not really getting a, a full representation of, of how they sound. It's just for demonstration purposes, this. Um, rest assured that they do sound nice and chunky and realistic in in the flesh as it were anyway we've now got our basic drum part put together we now need to import that into the project and this all you've got to do you can see that uh, when we imported the uh, drum kit it created a track for it up here uh, you simply drag and drop that little kind of drum groove that we created up into the track there and let's move this out of the way and there it is there and if I hit the space bar it plays and there you have it that is the first four bars of uh, drums for the tune created as easy as that if you want to get a little bit more technical you can double click on here and go into the uh, raw MIDI data and start editing that and you know kind of tweaking it if you want and maybe you know that will be something that we could look at later on but as you've seen and heard there is absolutely nothing wrong with uh, the basic track that it creates so that's how to create uh, a fairly convincing drum track in very little time uh, from a standing start and bear in mind that once you've got all the software downloaded and installed um, That's that's something you only have to do once uh, after that It's just fire up Reaper bring in the drum kit and you're ready to rock So I think you can see that there's nothing too scary there providing you just work through it methodically and just follow the steps that I've outlined If you do hit any bumps in the road, then it's a good idea to seek out some advice There's a brilliant um, home recording message board forum kind of place on Tinternet called Song Crafters. Uh, they're a friendly bunch of guys and I, I've been a member there for quite a while now. Um, they give you all kinds of nice advice, you just go drop by, post a question, ask what you need to ask, comment on the music that people have posted there and just generally make some friends and get some good recording tips. Uh, I'll put a link to the Song Crafters website in the uh, description box below, along with the links to the software that we've talked about today. And before I go, just a quick update on Guitars for Good Causes. 
Uh, first of all, there's been a couple of interesting developments in terms of donations to the campaign. I'll tell you more about that next time. Uh, and next time, the review that we're going to be looking at isn't a guitar, it's actually an amplifier, which will be a first for this channel. Um, and I'm, I've been curious about for a while, and I thought this would be an ideal opportunity to give it the once over. So, there you go. And I just want to say once again a massive, heartfelt, very sincere thank you to everyone who's pitched in to this campaign. Uh, you're helping me grow my channel, but more importantly, you're helping Zoe's Place, which I'm sure you know by now is a hospice in Middlesbrough for uh, terminally ill children under the age of five. And, you know, it's hard to think of a, a more worthy cause than that, is it really? And before I go, here's the usual plug. If you want some tailored one-to-one -one guitar tuition, then give me a shout via the details at the end of this video. If you live on Teesside in the northeast of England, you can come along for a face-to-face -face lesson. Or wherever you are in the world, you can have a lesson via Skype. And whichever way you do it, your, lesson, your first lesson is free. And with that, I'll bid you all a good day and look forward to seeing you next time when we're going to be looking at the next review of an amplifier. I'll see you next time, folks. Bye for now.